Today, I am so excited to bring you the second iteration of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars. We did this last in Season 8 of Sims 4 Survivor, where we brought the best Sims 4 Survivor players from the first seven seasons and had them compete once again. And today we have some of the best players in the seven following seasons from the original All-Star season. So we have competitors from Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale up to Sims 4 Survivor Mount Kamarebi competing here today. And without further ado, let's introduce the cast. First up, we have the Paparazzi tribe, composed of 10 returning players here. First, we have Octavia Moon, a winner returning here from Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale. She is one of the most dominant winners of Sims 4 Survivor. She was also voted as the fan favorite and is currently the only person to win both fan favorite as well as the entire show proper. Of course, we had to bring her back. And we do have four returning winners here on this season. We did three last time, but now we're doing four because, um, you know, just to keep it even between the tribes. Also returning from Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale, we have Alan Saja. He was someone who didn't go that far, but he showed a lot of promise during his run. He had like two pretty solid final twos, but ultimately he was just on the tribe that lost pretty much most of the challenges. He made it to the merge, but pretty much lost his number one ally immediately and became the first member of the jury. Then we have our second winner on the paparazzi tribe. We have Rohan Elderberry here, returning from Sims 4 Survivor Occults vs. Normies, although he is originally from Sims 4 Survivor Generations. Rohan had one of the most surprising winning stories of Sims 4 Survivor. He was a second boot on Generations and then on his return he just completely dominated the game. Despite the fact that the returning players were very heavily targeted by the newbie players. Coming from Sims 4 Survivor Blood vs. Water, we have the runner-up of Sims 4 Survivor Blood vs. Water, Siobhan Fyrus. She was the only member of the newbie tribe to make it to the final three. The returning players on Blood vs. Water, they steamrolled the entire season, but Siobhan, she held her own in the game. She made it all the way to the end along with her sister Morgan and wound up as the runner-up, but she ended up losing the game to somebody else who is competing on the season. We'll get to them later. Also from Sims 4 Survivor Blood vs. Water, we have Dina Caliente. I was gonna put Nina on here, but I, it felt a little weird to have her return once again, <laughs> since I have another contestant here who has already competed with her twice, so it would be a little bit weird to have her compete three times with the same person. So I elected to cast Dina instead. Dina, she was an early merch boot, but her sister Nina, she played an idol on her, saved her for one tribal. Then Dina was able to stick around for another episode after that, but then was pretty much eliminated immediately. But she showed a lot of promise during her time on Blood vs. Water. So I decided to bring her back to see what she can do. From Sims 4 Survivor Chestnut Rich, we have Kenneth Houston returning here. Kenneth was easily the number one person to beat. They had by far the strongest social game out of anybody there. And they were primed to win the whole thing until the final four happened and they were medically evacuated, kind of out of nowhere, which opened up the game for somebody else to take the win. Kenneth is definitely one of those players who could be considered the best to never win. So let's see if they can replicate their success on Chestnut Ridge and perhaps take the cake this time around. Then we have coming from Sims 4 Survivor Granite Falls, we have Mae Prescott here. She was a very strong player on Granite Falls. She was within the majority alliance that was formed from day one, the all-women trio of her, Faye Harris, and uh, Dara Kam. However, she ended up trying to turn on the women, and uh, it didn't end up succeeding for her, and she ended up getting cut right before the final tribal council. So she definitely has a little bit of unfinished business coming into this season. Also coming from Sims 4 Survivor Granite Falls, we have Victor Fang here. I believe he is the only person who was voted out in the pre-merge to return here on All-Stars. 
He showed incredible promise in the game on Granite Falls. Despite not even making it to the merge, he was flipping left and right. He was ingratiating himself into various alliances. And then suddenly it just all came crumbling down for seemingly no reason. So I'm kind of excited to see what Victor is going to do here on return. Next up, we have Lilith Vator returning here from Sims 4 Survivor Early Outs. Although she originally competed on Sims 4 Survivor Chestnut Ridge, Lilith was, as the name suggests, an early out on Chestnut Ridge. And then she returned for early outs, did incredibly well, became the runner up, was by far one of the most social and strategic player on the season. Didn't end up winning, but her showing on early outs definitely solidified her place here on All Stars 2. And then our final member here on the Paparazzi Tribe, we have Min Sung Lee, who is returning from just last season, Sims 4 Survivor Mount Komorebi. He was on the dominant sledding tribe, but was at the bottom of the sledding tribe. So once the merge came, he became an immediate target, but he was able to avoid elimination twice by winning immunity before ultimately getting clipped from the game was definitely the underdog of the season. So we decided to bring him back here. And then our second tribe here is the Director's Tribe. This tribe is composed of Sienna Grove, returning here from Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale. She was the Fallen Angel of Copperdale, made a lot of big moves on the season, was pretty much the underdog from the merge on but somehow made it all the way to the finale and then teamed up with her number one enemy in the game to try to flip the game. It didn't really end up working out for her, but we appreciated the effort, so we brought her back. Then we have returning from Sims 4 Survivor Occult vs. Normies, Denzel Rivera is here. He was also a fallen angel on his season. He placed just short of the final tribal council, was a very strategic player on the season, Pretty much the foil to Rohan Elderberry, but he ultimately did get bested by him in the end and did not win the game. And then returning here alongside him from Sims 4 Survivor Occults vs. Normies to represent the occult side of things, we have Bone Hilda. The occults were definitely the weaker tribe on that season, but Bone Hilda, she ran that tribe. She formed her power alliance, she turned on the returning players, got rid of them and secured her spot in the merge, but ultimately, because the occults were in such a minority going into the merge, she did get clipped pretty early on. Then we have the ultimate Sims 4 Survivor winner up to this point. We have Ava Harjo here, coming from Sims 4 Survivor Blood vs. Water, but originally coming from Sims 4 Survivor Worldwide. She is the only two-time winner on Sims 4 Survivor, so of course we had to bring her back. A 100% win rate, we can't say no to that. Will her streak remain? I highly doubt it. <laughs> but if she's going to be able to replicate her success on her first original two seasons, while also easily being the biggest target on the board, it will be incredible. <laughs> I would love to see it, but I highly doubt it's going to happen. And then the second winner on the Director's Tribe, we have Jacob Wolkov here, returning from Sims 4 Survivor Chestnut Ridge. Definitely one of the weaker winners of Sims 4 Survivor. He definitely lucked out by Kenneth getting medically evacuated. But he took that opportunity and ran with it, cut his number one ally at the end in order to secure his win. And I'm hoping that he's going to show that level of cutthroatness on this season. Also returning from Sims 4 Survivor Chestnut Ridge, we have Marcel Price. He was the underdog of Chestnut Ridge, entered the merge in a minority, but was able to ingratiate himself with the Power Alliance and made it all the way up to 5th place. I definitely thought Marcel was a player to watch out for on Chestnut Ridge, and I feel like on a different season, maybe he would have had more success. So let's see if this season is that season. Then we have returning from Sims 4 Survivor Granite Falls, we have Candy Bear, also known as Hot Mess Candy Bear. She was a mess. <laughs> she just uh, did random shit, was constantly causing chaos on Granite Falls. Was so much fun to watch, so we brought her back to hopefully see her make even more mess. <laughs> Then we have returning from Sims 4 Survivor Early Outs, as well as Sims 4 Survivor Battle of the Sexes, we have Eric Lewis. The second runner-up of Early Outs, 
he showed some incredible gameplay on early outs. He was able to match Mickey Armelino's individual immunity win record, was in control of the game the entire time. But once he made it to the end, the jury did not respect his win. And he only received, I believe, one jury vote. So that was very unfortunate for Eric. But it landed him a spot here on this season. Also returning from Sims 4 Survivor Early Outs, and also returning from Sims 4 Survivor Battle of the Sexes, we have Jenna Kiyama. Jenna was by far one of the biggest underdogs on Early Outs. She was a social pariah from the beginning of the game on her tribe. Nobody wanted to work with her. They all hated her for some reason. And she very quickly formed a rivalry with Lilith Vator to a point where Lilith removed her from the jury in a twist. However, despite being on the outs the entire time, she was able to make it to the final seven. And hopefully her rivalry with Lilith is not going to get in the way this time around. And then the final member of the director's tribe, we have Cletus Harris here, returning from Sims 4 Survivor Mount Kamarebi. The runner-up of Mount Kamarebi, he was only one vote away from winning, so he has some unfinished business entering this season. He kind of ran the entire game with an iron fist alongside his number one ally, but then he ended up losing to them at the end because he did not have the social bonds that she did. We'll see if he's going to be better liked on this season. Alright, so that's our cast. I'm excited for this season, but before we get into it, let's get into a little bit of housekeeping. We're going to turn relationships on, of course. And I did also edit the profile, so I gave everybody a 4 in strategic ability. These are all returning players. I figured that could make for a more interesting season, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Everybody's still on equal footing though, so nobody has like better stats than anybody else. I also changed the relationships. The same as I did on All Stars. So the people who competed on the same season, they have a slight bond. If they work together in an alliance, they have a small bond. And then we also have two rivalries on this season who have a medium dislike with one another. We have Lilith and Jenna. And then we have Cletus and Minsung. I also decided to give the winners a slight bond with one another, even though they did not compete on the same season together. Mainly because the winners on All-Stars, they were just targeted pretty much immediately. So <laughs> I kind of want to give them a fair shot. I feel like they would like pre-game a little bit. They would try to, you know, stick together. So I think it's fair to give them a little bit of a relationship. It's only a slight bond though. So like it's not like that great, but it is something. <laughs> anyway... Let's just get into this wild season. I hope it's going to be better than All-Stars because All-Stars was kind of shit. But <laughs> I think I think it's going to be great. <laughs> so we will start with a twist, apparently. We have a Legacy Advantage hidden and Cletus, he finds the Legacy Advantage. The Paparazzi, they also win reward. So good for them, I guess. They win a toolkit. All right, let's go to the beach. We have just slight bonds that we are not going to uh, discuss. Siobhan and Dina now have a slight dislike. Whoa. <laughs> they started out with a slight bond, so they're already going down. <laughs> That's not promising for them. On the director's speech, we have Cletus with the legacy advantage. We have Sienna and Jenna with a medium dislike. Oh no. That is not good for uh, either of them, to be honest. Jenna may be immediately once again becoming a bit of a social pariah. We also have Denzel and Bonhilda with a small bond, Marcel and Jacob with a small bond. Both these pairs were, of course, on the same season together. All right, I forgot to mention, uh, we are playing Game Changers. <laughs> I was going to do Karamoan, but then I remember that I already did Karamoan. <laughs> so uh, I opted for Game Changers instead. That is also like an all returnee season on the show proper. So why not? Maybe we're in for Advantage Garen. I don't know. <laughs> we'll pay attention to that. But also on this season, there was a bit of a twist regarding the tie votes. In the case there was a tie, the players would not re-vote. They would just draw rocks immediately. So that could impact this season. Anyway, we have slight bonds. Let's just move on to immunity, I guess. The directors, they win immunity. They also win flint. So these people, they are going to be immune for episode number one. That's going to be great for Ava since she's definitely coming in with the biggest target on the board here. Let's go to the beaches. Let's see what's going on. On the paparazzi beach, we have Mei and Minsung bonding slightly, which has a lasting impact. 
Min Sung also impressing the rest of the team. And Kenneth and Min Sung, they bond strongly, which has a lasting impact. And we see that all of this results in Min Sung becoming kind of the center of this alliance that is forming here. We have Min Sung, Mei, Kenneth, both of which were bonding with Min Sung. And then Rohan, for some reason, is here as well. All right, we'll see if they're going to control the votes going into tribal here. On the director's speech, we have Cletus with the legacy advantage. And we have Candy with a major meltdown. Unsurprising, of course. <laughs> Hot mess Candy, of course, striking again. <laughs> Jenna, however, is impressing the rest of the team. And then Denzel and Sienna bond strongly, which has lasting impact. And that impact is an alliance. So we have Denzel, we have Sienna, those that were bonding. They decide to pull in Marcel Price and Bone Hilda. Of course, Denzel and Bone Hilda, they were on a season together. So it's not that surprising that Denzel would want to work with Bone Hilda. He has a bit of a bond with her. He knows he can work with her. And Marcel, for some reason, is tagging along to this. I don't really know what he's doing here, but all right. Let's go to the first tribal of the season. We have the paparazzi tribe here. At their first tribal, the first tribal of the season, it is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I'll read the votes. First vote is going to go to Octavia. One vote Octavia. Are they going against the winners? <laughs> that would be unfortunate. <laughs> Next vote is going to go to... Victor. One vote Octavia, one vote Victor. The next vote is going to go to Victor. Two votes Victor, one vote Octavia, seven votes left. And the next vote goes to Victor. Three votes Victor, one vote Octavia. Next vote is going to go to Octavia. That's three votes Victor, two votes Octavia, five votes left. And the next vote goes to Octavia. We're tied. Three votes Octavia, three votes Victor, four votes left. Next vote is going to go to Victor. So that's four votes Victor, three votes Octavia, three votes left. Next vote is going to go to Victor, five votes Victor, three votes Octavia, two votes left. If Victor gets one more vote, he is out, but he could still tie with Octavia. Next vote is going to go to Octavia, five votes Victor, four votes Octavia, just one vote left. And the first person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2, it is Victor Fang. Victor, the tribe has spoken. I'm a little bit sad about this. I, I was kind of hoping he would do a little bit better this time around. But I guess being the only pre merge boot here, I guess he didn't really have the same skill set as the other people on his tribe. So they were just a little bit ahead of the game. All right, here is the vote breakdown. We have Alan, Kenneth, May, Minsung, Octavia, and Rohan voting for Victor. So that is Kenneth, May, Minsung, and Rohan. That was the alliance, right? They pull in Octavia here, probably the influence of a Rohan. He wants to protect his fellow winner. He does not want the same thing to happen on the original All-Star season, where the winners just went back to back out of the game. They also pull in Alan here, so that's something. And the Octavia votes, they are Dina, Lilith, Siobhan, and Victor. Okay. Dina and Siobhan, despite not liking each other, they are voting together. So maybe even if they don't like each other, they still have like a working relationship from their original season, I guess. And Lilith, I don't know what she's doing here, but okay. We'll move on to episode number two. On the paparazzi beach, we see Alan Saja finding the hidden immunity idol. Okay. That's going to be useful for him. He is not in this alliance here, which is not super strong, but like a six strength. That's fine, I guess. We have Minsung and Lilith with a strong bond. Oh, okay. Minsung and May with a strong bond. Minsung and Kenneth with a strong bond. And Minsung and Alan with a small bond. Minsung with very strong relationships here. Wow. He is coming out hot here on All-Stars 2. Then we have just slight bonds that we're going to ignore. On the director's speech, we see that Bone Hilda, she finds the hidden immunity idol. She did find that idol on her original season, so she knows where to look. That's going to be useful to have in her arsenal here. We also have Cletus with the legacy advantage, of course. This alliance... Only a 5 strength, so not super strong, but I doubt that any of these people are going to flip. 
at least not yet. We have Sienna and Denzel with a strong bond. We have Candy and Ava with a medium dislike. Ava, she is not enjoying Candy's shenanigans here. Perhaps reminding her too much of Nina Caliente. <laughs> we have Jenna and Jacob with a small bond. We have Jenna and Denzel with a small bond. Okay, Jenna. Somewhat on the board here. Okay. We have Candy and Bonhilda with a medium dislike. Cletus and Candy with a medium dislike. And then Sienna and Jenna with a medium dislike. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Then we have Sienna and Cletus with a small bond. We have Marcel and Jacob with a small bond. And then Denzel and Bone Hilda with a small bond. All right. We'll go to, I guess, reward or immunity. I don't know. We go to immunity. And the paparazzi tribe, they win. They're not going to go back to tribal. They also win a fishing kit with a raft waiting at the winning tribe's camp. All right. So the directors, they're going to go to their first tribal tonight. On the paparazzi beach, we have Alan with the idol. We have Dina and Lilith bonding slightly. We have Alan and May bonding strongly, which has a lasting impact. And then we have Kenneth and Rohan finding something in common. Strengthening their alliance, maybe. But look at this, we have another alliance. It is Lilith Vitor, May Prescott, and Min Sung Lee. Min Sung double dipping in alliances. He had a pretty strong bond with Lilith. And he is more loyal to this than he is to the last alliance that he formed. May also pretty loyal to this at a 7. And Lilith is the least loyal at a 6. So, okay. On the director speech, we have Bone Hilda with the idol, of course. Cletus with the legacy advantage. We have Denzel impressing the rest of the team. All right. We have Jacob and Sienna bonding strongly. And something is happening to this alliance. It is done. <laughs> However, we have a larger alliance happening. It is pretty much the same alliance aside from Marcel. He's out. And instead, it is Ava, Jacob, and Jenna. That is kind of a twist. <laughs> is Marcel Price going out here? Maybe. Weren't people like not liking Jenna? Because she was um, had that major meltdown. No, wait, it was Candy. Candy was the one with major meltdown. Uh, Sienna did not like Jenna, but they are now uh, aligning together. Okay. Also worth noting, both of the winners are here in this alliance. So I think it's going to be either Marcel or Candy. It's probably going to be Candy because nobody likes her. <laughs> And also, she could just causes chaos. I, I think it makes sense to get rid of her, to be honest. Let's go to tribal. All right, the directors, they are here at their first tribal. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I read the votes. The first vote is going to go to... Eric. One vote, Eric. Second vote is going to go to... Marcel. One word Eric, one word Marcel. Third word goes to Eric. Two words Eric, one word Marcel. And the fourth word goes to Eric. That's three words Eric, one word Marcel. Six words left. Next word is going to go to Eric. Four words Eric, one word Marcel. Five words left. And next word goes to also Eric. Five words Eric, one word Marcel. Four words left. And the second person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor, All-Stars 2. It is Eric Lewis. Eric the tribe has spoken. Very unfortunate for him. He definitely could not replicate his success on early outs. Perhaps the caliber of the competition on that season was not really all that strong, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, it was all people who were voted out pretty much immediately. So perhaps it was a unique case where he made it pretty far there. Everybody votes for Eric. Eric votes for Marcel. Unfortunate for him, but he's gone here. All right, quick and easy tribal. We'll move on to the next episode. We're on episode three. Both tribes are at nine, but we have a twist. What is this twist? It is a tribe swap. Okay. And we're going to swap to three tribes. So on paparazzi, we have now Bone Hilda, Jacob Wolkov, and Jenna Akiyama coming from the director's tribe. And remaining on paparazzi are Kenneth Houston, Lilith Vitor, and Octavia Moon. The new director's tribe is composed of Cletus Harris and Denzel Rivera remaining on directors. And then coming from paparazzi, we have Alan Saja, Dina Caliente, May Prescott, and Min Sung Lee. And then we have the brand new stylists tribe. This is composed of Ava Harjo, Candy Bear, Marshall Price, and Sienna Grove coming from the director's tribe. And then we have Rohan Elderberry and Siobhan Fyrus from the paparazzi tribe. All right, I feel like everything got completely shaken up here. We do have May and Min Sung. They were aligned together, I believe. 
They are still together on the director's tribe. Denzel is completely isolated from his alliances. On the paparazzi tribe, we have Bonehilda, Jacob, and Jenna. They were in that large alliance, I believe. But we also have Kenneth and Lilith. They have that Chestnut Ridge connection, so that could factor in as well. And we also have Jacob and Octavia, the previous winners entering here together. So they might want to link up as well. And then on the new stylists tribe, why did I name it that? It is so hard for me to say that. Any word with like multiple S's is pretty hard for me to say. But we have Ava Hargio and Siobhan Fires, who are from Blood vs. Water, here together. We also have Ava and Rohan, previous winners. Maybe they are going to link together. And we do have that like slight discourse between Ava and Candy entering this tribe as well. Since they didn't really like each other after Candy's major meltdown. All right, let's go to the beaches. Let's look at what is going on here. We have a Bonehilda with the idol on the paparazzi beach. Kenneth is by themselves here on the paparazzi alliance number one. Okay. Lilith also by herself on paparazzi alliance number two. And then from the large alliance, we have Bonehilda, Jacob, and Jenna. Oh, I didn't realize this. We have Lilith and Jenna with their rivalry. They are back. <laughs> So they have a medium dislike. This is probably gonna expand into an extreme hatred. I just know it. <laughs> we also have Jenna and Jacob with a small bond. Kenneth and Jacob with a small bond. Right, that's another Chestnut Ridge connection here. So we could see the Chestnut Ridge people form an alliance together, maybe. Like Kenneth, Lilith, and Jacob. We'll watch out for that. Then we have just a bunch of slight bonds. We can ignore those. On the director's speech, we have Alan with the idol. We have Cletus with the legacy advantage. We have Mei and Minsung in two separate alliances together here on this tribe, though. We have Denzel completely isolated from his large alliance. And then we have Minsung and Meg with a strong bond. We have Denzel and Cletus with a strong bond. What? How'd that happen? I don't think they've ever met, but okay. <laughs> or maybe Cletus was on his tribe. Uh, I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't know. We'll see that later. We have Minsung and Cletus also. <laughs> the rivalry. <laughs> it's back. They have a medium dislike. We have both of our rivalries together on a tribe here after the swab. That is kind of incredible. May and Alan have a medium bond. Minsung and Alan also with a small bond. Okay. Perhaps May and Minsung are going to pull in Alan here. And then we have slight bonds, which we're going to ignore. On the stylist tribe, we have Sienna finding the hidden immunity idol. All right. We have Rohan by himself here on this alliance. We have Ava and Sienna together in the large alliance from the original director's tribe. And then we have Candy and Ava with a medium dislike. We have Siobhan and Ava with a small bond. And that's pretty much it. Otherwise, we just have slight bonds, slight dislikes. So we're going to ignore that. At the immunity challenge, we have the stylists winning immunity. And in second place are the directors. So the paparazzi tribe are going to go to tribal. Let's see what's going on on their beach. We have Bonehilda and Octavia with a minor disagreement. And then we have an alliance. It is Jacob, it is Kenneth, it is Lilith and Octavia. So this is definitely Jacob's alliance, right? Because we have Jacob as well as Kenneth and Lilith from Chestnut Ridge. And then Jacob also pulls in Octavia, the winner connection. <laughs> All right, we have so many alliances on this season. I kind of love it. <laughs> it's probably because I boosted their strategic uh, stat, I guess. But it's kind of fun. I like it. It's fitting for an all-star season, right? On the director's speech, we have Alan with the idol, Cletus with the legacy advantage. We have Cletus and May with a minor disagreement. We have Cletus and Minsung bonding slightly. And then we have another alliance. It is Alan Saja, Cletus Harris, and Denzel Rivera. All right, Denzel definitely recognizing that he's in a bit of a trouble here. Being isolated from his alliance, he's like, I gotta figure something else out. And I believe he was actually in a similar situation in Occults vs. Normies. He got kind of swap screwed, but he was able to turn it into a positive thing where um, he just formed alliances, was able to stick around and came into the merge with more relationships than he had before. On the new stylist speech, we have uh, Sienna with the idol. We have Siobhan impressing the rest of the team. And then we have Bonehilda leaving the large director's alliance. I believe Ava is also on the speech, so maybe Bonehilda doesn't want to work with her anymore. But we have 
a new alliance. It is Ava and Siobhan. A blood versus water alliance forming here. They link together. They were like, all right, let's just do a redo from blood versus water. We got this. We'll go to tribal council. All right, we got the paparazzi tribe here. Now composed of Bonehilda, Jacob, Jenna, Kenneth, Lilith, and Octavia. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Bone Hilda, she is going to use the idol and she is going to use it on herself. Any votes cast against Bone Hilda will not count. I'll read the votes. The first vote is going to go to Bone Hilda does not count. Bone Hilda does not count. Bone Hilda does not count. Oh my God. <laughs> and the next vote goes to Jenna. What about Jenna? Next vote goes to Octavia. One vote Jenna, one vote Octavia, one vote left. It all comes down to the final vote. And the third person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2 is going to be Jenna. Jenna, the tribe has spoken. It was going to be Bonehilda, but she used that idol. The Large Alliance, they were ready for the idol play. <laughs> got two votes on Jenna. She is out here. So who was who? We got Jacob, Jenna, and Kenneth voting for Bonehilda. Then we got Lilith and Octavia throwing their votes on Jenna. And then Bonehilda votes for Octavia. So this is a vote split. Very interesting. Okay, so Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, and, and Octavia, they were in that large alliance. So they split their votes. Jenna votes for Bonehilda, and Bonehilda is the sole Octavia vote. She thought she was doing something, but the alliance, they knew what to do. They knew how to counter her. We'll move on to episode number four. All right, the paparazzi tribe is now down to four. Bonehilda is definitely in trouble if they go to tribal again. This is that entire alliance. <laughs> but let's see how the relationships are. We've got um, Kenneth, Lilith, and Jacob all in separate alliances. But we also have the four-person alliance. It's only a five strength, so this is not that strong. And the only relationship on the board here is Kenneth and Jacob with a small bond. I don't really know how strong this alliance is. Also, nobody really likes Jacob, aside from Kenneth. All right, well, <laughs> look at this, Cletus, he finds the hidden immunity idol. So now he has an idol and he also has the legacy advantage. I assume this is the idol that Bonehilda just used. We also have Alan with an idol and we have May and Prescott in their two separate alliances. But together we have Dancel by himself. Uh, this alliance, it got chipped down very quickly. So Bonehilda, she left the alliance and now Jenna is uh, voted out. So she is no longer in the alliance either. Then we have this newly formed men's alliance. We have Denzel and Cletus with a mutual unbreakable relationship. What? What happened there? They pretty much just met in the last episode, but okay. No, wait, they were on the same starting tribe. Okay, never mind. I'm too presumptuous, sorry. We also have Minsung and May with a mutual strong bond. We have May and Alan with a medium bond. Minsung and Alan with a small bond. And then we have Slay Bonds. All right. On the Stylist tribe, we have Sienna with an idol. We have Rohan by himself in this alliance. We have Ava and Sienna together from the um, large alliance that is no longer that large. And then we have the newly formed Blood vs. Water alliance. Candy and Ava now have an extreme hatred. Oh no. But look at this, Siobhan and Candy have a medium bond. <laughs> so Siobhan is working with Ava, but she also likes Candy, who hates Ava. <laughs> That's kind of wild. Uh, Siobhan and Ava, they have a medium bond. And then we have Rohan with a small bond towards Siobhan. All right. Sienna and Marcel with a medium dislike. And then we have slight bonds and slight dislikes. Okay. It does not say how Siobhan feels toward Rohan, but I guess... For reward, we have the directors winning, and then we have the stylists coming in second. They both win peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and uh, the directors, they win cookies and milk as well. But immunity is going to go to the paparazzi tribe. Both losing tribes will be attending tribal council as one group. Oh, okay. I forgot they did this. <laughs> so a paparazzi, they are safe today. Directors and stylists, they are going to go to tribal together and only vote one person out, I think. On the paparazzi beach, we have nothing happening, all right? On the director's beach, we have also nothing happening. <laughs> what? And on the stylist beach, we have uh, Ava and Sienna bonding strongly. And then we have Marcel and Siobhan bonding slightly, which has a lasting impact. And then we have an alliance. 
it is Candy, Rohan, and Siobhan. All right. Not really sure what any of these people have in common or why they are forming an alliance here, but I guess Siobhan and Candy had that relationship that uh, they were building up, that medium bond, and maybe Candy likes Rohan, and she is more loyal to this than either of them. I guess, I don't know. We'll go to Tribal. So we got the directors and the stylists here. Alan, Cletus, Denzel, Dina, May, Minsung, Ava, Candy, Marcel, Rohan, Sienna, and Siobhan. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now is the time to do so. Nobody stands up. Okay. That's kind of wild considering we have three idols on the board and uh, this is <laughs> two tribes coming together. But all right, I'll read the votes. First vote is going to go to Alan. One vote, Alan. Second vote is going to go to Alan. Two votes, Alan. And the third vote goes to Candy. Two votes, Alan. One vote, Candy. Nine votes left. Next vote is going to go to Ava. Two votes, Alan. One vote, Ava. One vote, Candy. And the next vote goes to Candy. Two votes, Alan. Two votes, Candy. One vote, Ava. Seven votes left. And the next vote goes to Ava. So that's two votes Alan, two votes Ava, two votes Candy. All three are tied. We have six votes left. And the next vote goes to Candy. Three votes Candy, two votes Alan, two votes Ava. Five votes left. Next vote is going to go to Candy. Four votes Candy, two votes Alan, two votes Ava. And four votes left. If we are deadlocked, four, four, four. That would be wild, because <laughs> then we're going to draw rocks. <laughs> the next vote is going to go to... Alan. Four votes Candy. Three votes Alan. Two votes Ava. And three votes left. And the next vote goes to... Ava. Four votes Candy. Three votes Alan. Three votes Ava. Two votes left. We can still tie. <laughs> and the next vote is going to go to... Ava. Four votes Ava. Four votes Candy, three votes Alan, just one vote left. So it's either going to be Ava or Candy, or we're going to tie. <laughs> okay, Um, the last vote, it goes to... The fourth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2. It is going to be... Candy Bear! Candy, the tribe has spoken. They were not interested in Hot Mess this season. They did not want to play with her. <laughs> Ava Harjo gets her way here. She's not a two-time winner for nothing. So who was who? We've got Alan, Ava, Cletus, Denzel, and Sienna voting for Candy. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So that is Alan, Ava, and Sienna... No, wait, Ava and Sienna, they were in that alliance. And Dancel was also in that alliance, that like six-person alliance that is now four people. And then Dancel pulls in Cletus and Ava and Sienna, they pull in Alan. Okay. Dina, May, Minsung, and Rohan, they vote for Ava. Rohan is drawing the first blood. He is the first winner to vote for another winner. That's not very promising. <laughs> But then we have Candy, Marcel, and Siobhan voting for Alan, I guess. I don't know. We'll move on to episode number five. So the paparazzi are down to five. The stylists are down to five as well. Director still completely intact. All right, we got these alliances here. This alliance completely not moving. We have Kenneth and Jacob with a small bond and otherwise nobody is bonding on this beach. What is going on here? It's kind of weird. On the director's speech, we have Alan and Cletus with idols, and then we have Cletus with the legacy advantage. Relationships unchanged. And then we have Denzel and Cletus with their unbreakable relationship. Minsung and May now also with an unbreakable relationship. Okay. All right, Alan is in this uh, Mensa alliance. So that, that's why they were voting together. That's how they pulled in Alan. All right, I got it. Okay, hang on. <laughs> so this is what happened last tribal. We have the men here, this men's alliance, this three-person men's alliance, Alan, Cletus, and Denzel. They basically control this vote. And because Denzel has this connection to Ava and Sienna, he pulls them in. And that's how Candy goes out. So I think this is Denzel's move, pretty much. And probably Ava was the one who was like, I kind of want Candy to go. And Denzel was like, no problem. We'll make it happen. All right, well... We also have May and Alan with a medium bond. We have Minsung and Alan with a small bond. Dina with a small bond toward Alan now. 
uh, Alan only with a slight bond toward Dina. Then we have May and Cletus with a medium dislike, Dina and Dancel with medium dislike, and then some slight bonds. All right. On the stylist beach, we have Sienna with an idol. We have these alliances. They are unchanged. No, wait. Canty is out of this alliance, so now it's just Rohan and Siobhan. All right. Honestly, it's kind of weird that Rohan votes for Ava in the last tribal because he is aligned with Siobhan. Siobhan is also aligned with Ava. I don't know. I feel like that was not a good move from Rohan, to be honest. We have Siobhan and Ava with a medium bond. Sienna and Ava with a medium bond. Siobhan and Marcel with a medium bond now. Okay, that kind of comes out of nowhere. Siobhan and Rohan with a small bond. Sienna and Marcel with a medium dislike. And then we have slight bonds. All right. We'll go to reward, I guess. Yes. Directors, they win. And stylists, they come in second. All right. But immunity is going to go to the stylists and also the directors. So the directors, they're going to remain intact. Stylists, they're not going to lose another member now. And the paparazzi tribe, they're going to go back to tribal. So R.I.P. Bone Hilda, I guess. Unless something happens on the beach here. Let's see. We have Bone Hilda and Canada with a major fight. Oh, no. <laughs> We also have Lilith and Octavia finding something in common, which has a lasting impact. And Jacob, he has a major meltdown. Uh, maybe he's transforming into a werewolf. I don't know. <laughs> Could definitely be the case. I don't know. Something is happening to the Alliance, though. Lilith is out. Okay. That kind of makes sense. I mean, Lilith is a vampire. Jacob is a werewolf. Jacob has this, like, werewolf meltdown. She is like, no, thank you. I can't do this. I'm out. But now the question is... Has Jacob made himself a social pariah? Are they all going to just turn on him? Or do Kenneth and Octavia, do they stick by Jacob? Do they decide to turn on Lilith or do they just take out Bonhilda? I thought it was just going to be straight up Bonhilda going out here, but this kind of changes things. On the director's speech, we have Cletus resting in camp. All right. On the stylist speech, nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> we'll go to tribal. All right. Paparazzi tribe here at their second tribal. Bonehilda, Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, and Octavia. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I read the votes. First vote is going to go to Jacob. One vote, Jacob. Second vote is going to go to Jacob. Two votes, Jacob. Three votes left. And the third vote goes to Bonehilda. Two votes, Jacob. One vote, Bonehilda. Two votes left. Fourth vote is going to go to Bonehilda. We're tied. So that's two votes Bonehilda, two votes Jacob, and one vote left. And the fifth person vote out of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2 is going to be Bonehilda. Yeah, Bonehilda, the tribe has spoken. They definitely stuck by Jacob. So that's unfortunate for Bonehilda. She goes out here. We have Bonehilda and Lilith voting for Jacob. Jacob, Kenneth, and Octavia, they stick together. They vote out Bonehilda together. Kind of an obvious boot, but they did add a little bit of intrigue here. But <laughs> I imagine if they go back to tribal, Lilith is done. Although we could be merging soon. I don't know. We're at episode six here and we have a twist. Is it another tribe swap? It is another tribe swap. All right. So we're going to go back to two tribes, but Lilith Vitor, she is exiled. So she is, I believe, safe for an episode, I guess. All right. I think. I don't know. The exiled castaway is given three possible advantages, an extra vote, a kit with which to design a fake hidden immunity idol, as well as a challenge advantage for their new tribe. All right. She's going to take the challenge advantage. So I think she goes on the boat with uh, Cochrane. Who is going to be Cochrane here? I don't know. Maybe Kasim Bulma. Kasim Bulma. He comes back. <laughs> he won All-Stars 1. We're now on All-Stars 2. I think it makes sense. But here's our new tribes. We have the new paparazzi tribe. It is Ava Harjo, Cletus Harris, Dina Caliente, Jacob Volkov, May Prescott, Min Sung Lee, and Octavia Moon. And then the new director's tribe. It is Alan Sadja, Dancil Rivera, Kenneth Houston, Marshall Price, Rohan Elderberry, Sienna Grove, and Siobhan Fyrus. So we got three winners on the paparazzi tribe. Kind of wild that no winner has been voted out yet, to be honest. Maybe that's going to change. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't really know. There are so many alliances here in this game. So I don't really know who is aligned with who. So let's just go to the beaches and see what is going on there. All right. On the paparazzi beach, we have Cletus with the idol. We have Cletus with the legacy advantage as well. We have May and Minsung. They stick together again. We have Ava and Jacob. 
they're now back together. They were in the Director's Alliance, the six-person alliance that has now shrunk down to four. Though worth noting, Ava has lost her connection to Sienna, who was her like closest ally in the game up to this point. We also have Jacob and Octavia from the um, Paparazzi Alliance, the three-person Paparazzi Alliance that uh, Lilith just left. Could we potentially be seeing the three winners form an alliance together? That could be very intriguing. We see Cletus is now isolated from his two guys in the three-guy alliance. That's unfortunate. Ava also isolated from Siobhan. Minsung and May they have an unbreakable relationship. We have May and Cletus with a medium dislike. We have Minsung and Cletus with a small bond. What? I guess time heals all wounds? Minsung and Cletus, they have mended fences. They have come to an agreement and are deciding that they don't want to continue on the feud. They just want to work together now. All right. <laughs> that is a plot twist that I did not expect. We also have slight bonds. All right. On the director's speech, we have Alan and Sienna with an idol. We have Kenneth and Rohan now back together. All right. We also have Denzel and Sienna together. Then we have Kenneth by themselves on the um, Swap Paparazzi Tribe uh, Alliance. And Alan and Denzel, they are together in the Men's Alliance. Cletus, he's gone, of course. And Siobhan, she is no longer with Ava, but she does still maintain her alliance with Rohan. Sienna and Denzel, they have a strong bond. Siobhan and Marcel have a medium bond, all right? This relationship here kind of came out of nowhere, to be honest. I don't really know how that happened, but okay. Siobhan and Rohan, they have a small bond. Rohan and Kenneth have a small bond. And then Sienna and Marcel have their medium dislike still. I think Sienna is turning Marcel into her new Aaron Beta, maybe. <laughs> We have Rohan and Ansel with a small bond, Marcel and Kenneth with a small bond, and then some slight bonds. All right. For immunity, we have the directors winning immunity. They are going to be safe tonight. Paparazzi tribe, going to go to tribal instead. So that's going to be the tribal with the three uh, winners. On their beach, we have Cletus with the idol, Cletus with the legacy advantage, and we have Octavia impressing the rest of the team. And then something is happening with the alliance here. Um, It's done. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess the winners are not working together. I don't know. Dina, however, she is resting at camp to restore her energy. And she is so purple. She has not done anything in this game up to this point. I think she's like the only person in the cast who does not have any alliances. On the director's speech, we have Alan and Sienna with the idols. And Alan, he is out of the men's alliance. Not sure why, but okay. We'll go to tribal. All right, we got the new paparazzi tribe here. It is Ava, Cletus, Dina, Jacob, May, Minsung, and Octavia. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I'll read the votes. The first vote is going to go to... May. One vote May. Second vote goes to... May. Two votes May. Third vote is going to go to... May. So that's three votes May. Four votes left, and the fourth vote goes to Cletus. Three votes may, one vote Cletus, three votes left. Fifth vote goes to Cletus. Three votes may, two votes Cletus, two votes left. And the sixth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor all stars too. It is May Prescott. May, the tribe has spoken. She had a very quiet edit this time around. I don't really know what she was doing at any point. She had some alliances, but otherwise, I don't really know where her head in the game was. She only was really aligned with Minsung, and that was it. So it is, as predicted, May and Minsung who vote for Cletus. Everybody else votes for May, Ava, Cletus, Dina, Jacob, and Octavia. Jacob and Octavia, even though they are no longer aligned together, they do still vote together. So maybe this Winner's Alliance is going to happen. I don't know. We'll move on to episode number seven. All right, we've got Lilith now joining the Paparazzi tribe after that um, tribal council. So we're back to seven per tribe. All right. On the Paparazzi beach, we have um, Lilith and Minsung with an eight strength alliance. What? When did this happen? Was this alliance with uh, May Prescott? Yeah, right. That happened like... On the original paparazzi tribe, <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about it, to be honest. But they are apparently very strong. All right. Ava and Jacob still aligned. Minsung is now by himself on this alliance. We have Cletus by himself. We have Ava by herself. 
We have Mensung and Lilith with a strong bond. Octavia and Lilith with a medium bond. Octavia and Cletus with a medium bond. Octavia and Dina with a medium bond. And Octavia and Jacob with a small bond. Octavia Moon showing once again why she won Sims 4 Survivor Cobberdale and why she was also voted the fan favorite. She is just so likable. We have Dina with a small bond toward Lilith. All right. And vice versa also. We have Minsung with a small bond toward Cletus. Uh, and vice versa as well. I'm so curious how this uh, whole thing happens. Like, what even happened to, like, make them not hate each other anymore? I don't know, but Dina does hate Cletus, I guess. <laughs> Cletus is not classy enough for Dina. We all know that. On the director speech, we have these two uh, idols here. We have unchanged uh, alliances. Denzel and Sienna with a strong bond. Siobhan and Rohan with a strong bond now. Siobhan and Marcel still with a medium bond. Rohan and Kenneth with a small bond. Rohan and Denzel with a small bond. The occult versus normies connection coming in here. Marcel and Kenneth with a small bond. That's the chestnut rich connection. Then we have Sienna and Kenneth with a small bond. Siobhan and Sienna with a slight dislike. Oh, and Sienna and Marcel with a slight dislike. So this used to be a medium dislike. They are dropping. That's kind of interesting. But we'll go to reward, I guess. Yes. Okay, so the directors, they win reward. They win 10 pizzas and some cold soda, I guess. Okay. But immunity is going to go to the paparazzi tribe. Not going to go back to tribal. Let's go to their beach first. We have Minsung working hard at camp and becomes tired. All right. On the director's speech, however, we have Rohan with a major meltdown. <laughs> okay, so this could be Rohan's episode, Rohan's boot episode. I don't know, let's go to Tribal. All right, we got the new director's tribe here. Alan, Denzel, Kenneth, Marcel, Rohan, Sienna, and Siobhan. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Sienna, she is going to use the Hidden Immunity Idol on herself. Any votes cast against Sienna will not count. I'll read the votes. First vote is going to go to... Sienna does not count. Sienna does not count. Sienna does not count. Wow. <laughs> Sienna does not count. And the next one goes to Marcel. Vote, vote, Marcel. So Sienna, she catches four votes here. Would have been eliminated. Well played, Sienna. <laughs> But we got two votes left. The next vote is going to go to the seventh person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2. It is Marcel Price. Marcel, the tribe has spoken. Honestly, he had a very quiet showing here. I feel like he didn't really play hard enough this time around. However, of course, he was not supposed to go out here. So maybe he was just playing a little bit under the radar. But it didn't work out for him. He goes out here. So the uh, Sienna votes, they are Alan, Marcel, Rohan, and Siobhan. Marcel votes are Dancel, Kenneth, and Sienna. Okay. Kenneth votes out Marcel, even though they have that uh, Chestnut Rich connection. I'm not sure that's a good move from them, to be honest, but I guess Kenneth has uh, other options to go with, so maybe it's not a huge deal. Very interesting, however, that Rohan has that major meltdown, does not see any consequences from it. Nobody votes for him. All right, we'll move on to episode number eight, and it is the Merge. So this is the new celebrities tribe, the Merge tribe. The contestants who made the Merge are Alan Saja, Ava Hargio, Cletus Harris, Denzel Rivera, Dina Caliente, Jacob Volkov, Kenneth Houston, Lilith Vator, Minsung Lee, Octavia Moon, Rohan Elderberry, Sienna Grove, and Siobhan Virus. So every single one of our winners made it to the merch. It is very much possible that we're going to have another two-time winner here. If not a three-time winner, I guess, if Ava wins. <laughs> let's go to the beach. Let's see what's going on. So our um, advantages are Alan with an idol, Cletus with an idol, and Cletus with the legacy advantage, which he can use in this round. Did Marcel have an idol? Like, wasn't there another idol here? Of course, Sienna used hers. Hang on, I'm gonna go back a second. No, wait, never mind. We just had two idols here. Alan had one, Sienna had one, which she used. And then, of course, we had Cletus with his stuff. All right, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so we have now our alliances. Let's go through them because we have a lot of them. Not really any big ones anymore, though. That's kind of interesting. 
We have Kenneth, Minsung, and Rohan with the Paparazzi Alliance number one. I believe Mae Prescott was in this as well. So they used to be four. Now she's gone. They're down to three now. We have Lilith and Minsung with their final two now. We have Ava, Denzel, Jacob, and Sienna, the original six person alliance, chopped down to four. Still the largest alliance on the board, though. Everybody is pretty solid in this alliance. I mean, it's uh, six strength, which is not the best, but still pretty good. Usually that means that nobody's gonna jump ship. We have Cletus and Denzel with an eight loyalty final two alliance here. Then we have Ava and Siobhan with a 7th strength loyalty alliance here. And then Rohan and Siobhan also with a final 2. They also have an unbreakable relationship. We have Denzel and Cletus with an unbreakable relationship. Sienna with an unbreakable relationship toward Denzel. Denzel only with a strong bond towards Sienna, however. Minsung and Lilith, they have an unbreakable relationship. And then we have Sienna and Ava with a strong bond. Minsung and Kenneth with a strong bond, Siobhan and Ava with a medium bond, Denzel and Ava with a medium bond, and Octavia and Cletus with a medium bond. So this is only a fraction of the relationships here on the board, but we're seeing that Sienna is on the board, Ava is on the board, Denzel is on the board. Those are like the main players here. I guess Siobhan is also kind of in there. Minsung, he has a few relationships that are notable. All right. Immunity goes to Kenneth. Congratulations, Kenneth. They cannot be voted for tonight. Let's go to the beach. Let's see what's going on. We have Alan with an idol. We have Cletus with an idol. Cletus with the Lexi advantage, which again can be played. And Cletus and Siobhan have a small fight. All right. Lilith and Octavia bond slightly. And we have this alliance. What is going on? Jacob is out. <laughs> okay, they're not the largest alliance anymore. I think Jacob is probably getting the boot here, right? I don't know. It feels like he has kind of fallen apart on this season. I don't know. He just doesn't have that cutthroat energy that he did on Chestnut Rich. So, I don't know. I think he's gone here. Let's just go to Tribal. All right. We got the merch tribe. The celebrities tribe. Alan, Ava, Cletus, Denzel, Dina, Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, Minsung, Octavia, Rohan, Sienna, and Siobhan. Kenneth, he has the necklace. Cannot be voted for tonight. Everybody else is eligible. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up. Cletus is not going to use the legacy advantage. All right. I'll read the votes. First vote is going to go to Ava. One vote Ava. Second vote goes to Dina, who I forgot was here, to be honest. <laughs> one vote Ava, one vote Dina. Third vote is going to go to Ava. Two votes Ava, one vote Dina. And the fourth vote is going to go to... Ava, three votes Ava, one vote Dina. Are they going to get rid of her? <laughs> Two-time winner, they're like, all right, this is the perfect time. It's time for her to go. The fifth vote is going to go to Dina. Three votes Ava, two votes Dina. Eight votes left. And the next vote goes to Dina. We're tied. Three votes Ava, three votes Dina. Seven votes left. Next vote is going to go to Dina. So that's four votes Dina, three votes Ava, six votes left. Next vote goes to Dina. Five votes Dina, three votes Ava, five votes left. Maybe they're not getting rid of Ava. I mean, they should, to be honest. I mean, I mean, like, are you going to let Ava go all the way to the end again? The next vote is going to go to Ava. So that's five votes Dina, four votes Ava, four votes left. And the next vote goes to Dina. So that's six votes Dina, four votes Ava, three votes left. They could still go to Ava here. Next vote is going to go to the eighth person voter out of Sims 4 Survivor. All stars to first member of the jury. It is Dina Caliente. Dina, the tribe has spoken. Surprisingly invisible on this season. I don't really know where she was at any point in time. Yeah, yeah. quiet exit for her here. <laughs> So they do attempt to take out Ava, but that does not work out for them. Dina, Lilith, Minsung, and Octavia are the ones voting for Ava here. Octavia, she seems to not want to work with the winners here. Maybe she wants to be the next two-time winner. I don't know. <laughs> but the Dina votes, the people who get their way here are Alan, Ava, Cletus, Denzel, Jacob, Kenneth, Rohan, Sienna, and Siobhan. It's a lot of people. <laughs> 
All right, well, there goes D now. Let's move on to episode number nine. We got our final 12 here. All right, we got Alan and Cletus with the idols. Cletus with the legacy advantage still, which now is locked again. He cannot use it until like the final six or something, final five maybe. We have our alliances. They are unchanged, uh, it seems, since Dina was not in any of them. Although Jacob, he did leave this alliance and it is stronger now. So apparently Jacob was kind of um, weighing it down a little bit. <laughs> I feel like this trio here is very strong. They could definitely run the game if they decide to, to be honest. So we got Sienna and Ava with an unbreakable relationship. Lilith with an unbreakable relationship toward Minsung and vice versa. Siobhan and Rohan with an unbreakable relationship. Denzel and Cletus with an unbreakable relationship as well. Then we have Sienna and Denzel with a strong bond. Denzel with a strong bond toward Ava. Siobhan with a strong bond toward Ava and vice versa. And then Minsung and Kenneth with a strong bond as well. All right. Reward is going to go to this group of people here. It is Cletus, Denzel, Kenneth, Lilith, Octavia, and Sienna. And then immunity is going to go to Sienna. All right. Congrats to Sienna. She cannot be voted for tonight. We'll go to the beach. We've got these advantages here. We've got Alan and Denzel bonding slightly. We also have Cletus and Rohan bonding strongly. All right. And then Ava and Sienna find something in common. And we have our first merge alliance. It is a final two between Lilith and Octavia. Okay. This is a very like final two heavy season. There are no like large alliances. It's all just like small clusters of alliances. Kind of interesting. Let's go to tribal. All right. We got the celebrities tribe here. The final 12. Sienna, she has the necklace. Cannot be voted for tonight. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands? Sorry, the votes. First vote is going to go to Alan. One vote, Alan. Second vote is going to go to Jacob. One vote, Alan. One vote, Jacob. Ten votes left. Third vote is going to go to Minsung. Okay. One vote, Alan. One vote, Jacob. One vote, Minsung. Fourth vote is going to go to Minsung. Oh. Two votes, Minsung. One vote, Alan. One vote, Jacob. And the next vote goes to Alan. Two was Alan, two was Minsung, one was Jacob. Next vote is going to go to Jacob, we're tied. Two was Alan, two was Jacob, two was Minsung, six was left. And the next vote goes to Jacob. So that's three votes Jacob, two votes Alan, two votes Minsung, five votes left. Next vote is going to go to Alan. Three votes Alan, three votes Jacob, two votes Minsung. Next vote goes to Minsung. <laughs> okay, we're tied again. Three votes Alan, three votes Jacob, three votes Minsung, and three votes left. And the next vote is going to go to Minsung. So that's four votes Minsung, three votes Alan, three votes Jacob, and two votes left. And the next vote goes to Alan, four votes Alan, four votes Minsung, three votes Jacob, and one vote left. If this vote goes to Jacob, and we tie, and they're going to go to rocks. <laughs> that would be wild. But that does not happen. The ninth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2. Second member of the jury. It is... Min Sung Lee. Min Sung the tribe has spoken. I thought he was playing a pretty good game. I'm surprised he kind of gets the boot here. Especially since Jacob has kind of become a bit of a social pariah, to be honest. But he was on the wrong side of the vote last tribal, so I guess it's kind of a leftover from that. So who is voting who here? Ava, Cletus, Denzel, Jacob, and Sienna. Cletus, he gets his way. He gets his revenge. <laughs> he might have seemingly smoothed things over, but he was actually not done with Minsung. He was like, well... On a personal level, I don't have to continue this beef. But on a strategic level, I can't trust you. You, you gotta go. And then we also have this trio that I, I was mentioning earlier. Ava, Denzel, and Sienna. And then Jacob text along with that. All right. All right, Ava and Jacob, they are still aligned in that alliance. I forgot. No, wait, they're not because Jacob left the alliance. Never mind. <laughs> and then Cletus and Denzel, they're also still aligned in that voice alliance. That is now a final two. The Allen votes, they are Kenneth, Octavia, Rohan, and Siobhan. Okay. And then Allen, Lilith, and Minsung. They vote for Jacob. All right. We move on to episode number 10. The final 11 here. It's kind of 
hard to tell exactly who is the front runner right now and like the the like strategic climate of this game is kind of messy so it's kind of hard to really see the narrative that is being built throughout this season to be honest i'm hoping we get a more clear picture as we go along so i guess we should just go along maybe i should make a winter pack i haven't done that in a few seasons in a while i i think denzel is by far the strongest player at the moment. I think he has uh, multiple relationships, multiple alliances that he's working on. I think he's pretty strong. I think Lilith and Octavia could be in the mix as well. Do we still have all our winners? Yes. Ava, Octavia, Rohan, and Jacob. What are these people doing? <laughs> Why don't they vote them out? <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to say Tansel. I think he is playing the strongest game. So yeah, that's, that's going to be my winner pick at the moment. <laughs> Watch him get voted out like... Next episode. <laughs> all right. Are the relationships changed at all? Not really. Kenneth and Rohan, they are now down to a six in their alliance, their final two. We have this new alliance, Lilith and Octavia. And then we have the same unbreakable relationships. Siobhan and Ava now with an unbreakable relationship. Sienna and Ava also with an unbreakable relationship. And Sienna and Dead Cell with an unbreakable relationship as well. Octavia and Jacob also with an unbreakable relationship. What? When did this happen? They're not even aligned. <laughs> but okay. Maybe the winner's alliance could still happen. I don't think so though. I think there is a little bit of a cold war brewing between these winners, to be honest. We have Octavia and Lilith with a strong bond after forming their final two. Octavia with a strong bond towards Cletus. Okay. And then Dan Sal and Ava only with a medium bond. That's kind of weird. Sienna and Jacob also with a medium bond. All right. For reward, we have um, this group of people winning. It is Alan, Ava, Cletus, Kenneth, and Rohan. Dancel does not get to compete and cannot win reward. That's sad. There was also a secret advantage hidden at the challenge that no one found. Okay. Bet immunity is going to go to Ava. Ava Harjo, two-time winner. She knows when she needs that immunity necklace. She has had a handful of immunity wins in her Sims 4 Survivor career, and she adds another one to the bucket. Let's go to the beach. We have uh, Ava and Lilith finding something in common. We have Lilith and Octavia finding something in common. And then Alan and Siobhan have a minor disagreement, which has a lasting impact. All right. I'm feeling that Alan might have to whip out this idol soon, to be honest. It's kind of starting to feel like he is becoming a bit of a target here. We'll go to Tribal. So we got the final 11 here. Ava, she has the necklace, cannot be voted for tonight. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I'll read the votes. First vote is going to go to Sienna. One vote Sienna. Next vote goes to Siobhan. One vote Sienna, one vote Siobhan. And the next vote goes to Sienna. Two votes Sienna, one vote Siobhan. I did not expect these two to get votes, actually. <laughs> I mean, they're both aligned with Ava, but okay. The next one goes to Siobhan. We're tied. Two with Sienna, two with Siobhan. Next one goes to Sienna. Three with Sienna, two with Siobhan. Six was left. And the next one goes to Kenneth. What? <laughs> okay. Three with Sienna, two with Siobhan, one with Kenneth. Next one goes to Siobhan. We're tied again. Three with Sienna, three with Siobhan, one with Kenneth. Four votes left. And the next one goes to Kenneth. Three votes Sienna, three votes Siobhan, two votes Kenneth, and three votes left. Next vote goes to Kenneth. We're tied again. Between all three of these people, Kenneth, Sienna, and Siobhan, they all have three votes. And we have two votes left. And the next vote goes to Sienna. Four votes Sienna, three votes Kenneth, three votes Siobhan, and one vote left. And the last vote, it goes to Kenneth! So it's four votes Kenneth, four votes Sienna, three votes Siobhan, which means we're gonna go to rocks. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Okay, so these four people are gonna draw rocks. Sienna and Kenneth, they are safe. Why are we going to rocks? What? <laughs> if that cell goes in rocks here, I, I'm sorry, Denzel, I jinxed you. <laughs> Okay, Alan, Cletus, Denzel, Jacob, Lilith, Octavia, and Rohan, and Siobhan, they're gonna draw rocks. And the person who goes out in rocks is gonna be... Cletus! 
Cletus Harris. Wow, that's kind of wild. Cletus, the game has spoken. He goes out and rocks here. Follows right behind Min Sung. Maybe he shouldn't have targeted him. Maybe he could have used his vote here for this tribal. Cletus, of course, also had the legacy advantage and an idol. So he could have definitely secured himself not to go here, but I guess, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so Alan, Ava, Sienna, and Siobhan, they are the Kenneth votes. Kenneth, Lilith, Octavia, and Rohan, they are the Sienna votes. And then Cletus, Denzel, and Jacob, they are the Siobhan votes. Uh, also, Cletus, he gives the legacy advantage to a Denzel. All right. Look at this, though. We have Denzel not voting with his three-person alliance. Ava and Sienna, they vote for Kenneth. He was for Siobhan because he votes with Cletus. So Denzel almost gets himself eliminated here. <laughs> um, I don't think that was a smart move, to be honest. I think he should have just gone for Kenneth because, like, it's not like he has a relationship with Kenneth. Unforced error here by Dansal, to be honest, but whatever. It, it worked out for him, although it really didn't because Cletus went out and Cletus was one of his like main allies. But <laughs> whatever, we'll move on to episode number 11. We have the final 10 here. Alan, Ava, Dansal, Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, Octavia, Rohan, Sienna, and Siobhan. And since Cletus went out, I think there is going to be another idol hidden. Let's see if somebody finds it. We have Dansel finding the hidden immunity idol. <laughs> what? <laughs> so Dansel basically just picks up all of the items that Cletus left behind. <laughs> okay. So Alan has an idol. Dansel has an idol. Dansel also has the legacy advantage now. Here's our new alliances. We have Kenneth and Rohan still hanging in there with their final two. We have the three person alliance, Ava, Dansel, and Sienna. Ava and Siobhan are up to a 9 strength now. Okay, so are Rohan and Siobhan. Honestly, I keep forgetting that Siobhan has these two final twos here. Is she D? Is she D by Adarius? That would be kind of <laughs> funny if she just goes to the end with these two and wins. We also have Lilith and Octavia, also with a 9 strength. Okay. Unbreakable relationships are Octavia and Lilith, Siobhan and Ava, Sienna and Dancel, Siobhan and Rohan, Octavia and Jacob now with an unbreakable relationship, okay. Sienna and Ava, and Sienna and Jacob now with an unbreakable relationship, what? Where where does this come from? <laughs> okay, well, Dansel and Ava, they have a medium bond. This relationship is not really developing, they're just like, stuck at a medium bond. Maybe they both know that they are probably gonna have to cut one another at some point. I don't know, Kenneth and Jacob, however, have a medium bond, and Siobhan and Lilith with a medium bond as well. All right, let's go to reward. This group of people wins reward. It is Ava, Denzel, Lilith, Rohan, and Sienna. Congratulations to them, I guess. But immunity is going to go to Kenneth. Kenneth with their second immunity win here. Almost got voted out last tribal, so they definitely might have needed this immunity. So congrats to them. They're going to be safe. On the beach, we have these idols and shit. And we have Rohan and Sienna bonding strongly, and Lilith and Rohan bonding strongly, which has a lasting impact. Rohan suddenly kicking it into high gear. He's realizing that he's kind of not doing super hot here. Doesn't necessarily have the strongest relationships on the board. We also have Alan and Lilith bonding strongly, and we have a new alliance. It is Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, and Octavia. So this is literally the same alliance that broke apart <laughs> just a few episodes ago. We have the Chestnut Ridge people, Jacob, Kenneth, and Lilith. And then Octavia, the random person who joined with them. This is the Swap Paparazzi Tribe Alliance. <laughs> what the hell? We also have Sienna working hard in the camp and becomes hired. Okay. This is the wildest storyline. <laughs> But okay, um, let's see if this impacts Tribal. Let's go to Tribal. Alright, we got the final 10 here. Kenneth, they have the necklace, cannot be voted for tonight. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Nobody stands up, so I'll read the votes. The first vote is going to go to Octavia. One vote, Octavia. Second vote goes to Sienna. One vote, Octavia. One vote, Sienna. Eight votes left. Third vote is going to go to Rohan. One vote Octavia, one vote Rohan, one vote Sienna. Seven votes left. And the fourth vote goes to Rohan. 
So that's two was Rohan, one was Octavia, one was Sienna, six votes left. The fifth vote is going to go to Sienna. Two was Rohan, two was Sienna, one was Octavia. And the sixth vote goes to Octavia, we're tied. Everybody, why are they tying so much? <laughs> two was Octavia, two was Rohan, two was Sienna, four votes left. I guess this is what you get when you have just a bunch of random alliances and no like big overarching power structure, I guess. The next vote is going to go to Sienna. Three votes Sienna, two votes Octavia, two votes Rohan, three votes left. If they tie again, I will be so mad. The next vote is going to go to Rohan. Three votes Rohan, three votes Sienna, two votes Octavia, and two votes left. And the next vote goes to Sienna. Four votes Sienna, three votes Rohan, two votes Octavia, and one vote left. We could tie between Sienna and Rohan, but we don't. The 11th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2 and 4th member of the jury. It is Sienna Grove. Whoa. Sienna, the tribe has spoken. The three-person alliance has taken a massive hit here. Honestly, I thought she was solid. I thought she was gonna make it to the end, but maybe that four-person alliance decided to just flip the script here. Wild. Okay. Let's see what happens. So we got Alan, Kenneth, Lilith, Octavia, and Rohan voting for Sienna. So they don't vote together. We got Alan and Rohan voting alongside Kenneth, Lilith, and Octavia. And then Jacob is voting with Dancel and Sienna for Rohan. And then for some reason, Ava and Siobhan are Octavia votes. What? <laughs> Okay, well, I think this is a vote split gone wrong, to be honest. Because we have these various alliances not voting together. Like, Jacob is not voting with Kenneth, Lilith, and Octavia. And then Dancel and Sienna are not voting with Ava. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Everybody's so scared of the idols, I guess, but nobody's playing them. Alright, well, Sienna's game is done. We'll go to the final nine here at episode number 12. On the beach, we have... Um, I don't think anything has changed. We have now Ava and Dancel with a final two, but it's not very strong. It's only a seven strength. They, of course, only have a medium bond. So this could fall apart. Dancel, uh, my winner pack, very much losing pretty much all social capital he just had <laughs> in this one tribal. And this is the new power structure. Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, and Octavia. We have our unbreakable relationships. It is Octavia and Lilith, Siobhan and Ava. Siobhan and Rohan, Octavia and Jacob for some reason, although they are now in an alliance together, so I guess that's something. <laughs> okay, well, Dancel and Ava, they also have an unbreakable relationship. Then we have Kenneth with a strong bond toward Jacob. Jacob only with a medium bond toward Kenneth, all right? Rohan and Kenneth with a medium bond, Octavia and Dancel with a medium bond, and Siobhan and Lilith with a medium bond. Reward is going to go to Ava, Lilith, and Octavia. And they decide to bring Denzel and Kenneth with them on reward, I guess. All right. They win an American barbecue with their loved ones. All right. Great. <laughs> but immunity, more importantly, is going to go to Denzel. I should never have doubted. He sees that he is losing social capital. He's like, all right, I got to be immune for this tribal. I got to set things right for me again. I can't go out like this. Let's win that immunity. Nice job, Denzel. He cannot be voted for tonight. Let's go to the beach. All right, we got Kenneth with a major meltdown. Oh no, what is causing that? Why are they having this major meltdown? I don't know. But he also has a minor disagreement with Siobhan. <laughs> okay. He does bond with Octavia though. All right. And Octavia, she is working hard at camp and becomes tired. And Ava is medically evacuated from the game due to an injury. Oh no. What? Ava, two-time winner. Her third time out here gets cut short. What? Oh my god. Well, at the very least, she can say she has never been voted out of the game. <laughs> that is tragic, though. I'm so sad to see her go, but she, uh, you know, shit happens. Sometimes you get medically evacuated. Ava, she's done. So tribal is canceled, which also means Denzel. He has lost all his allies. That is very unfortunate. We'll just move on to episode number 13, which is a two-part episode, I guess. We got the final eight here. Alan, Denzel, Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, Octavia, Rohan, and Siobhan. And this uh, alliance here, Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, and Octavia, they are now 
like help the tribe. So they have a lot of power here. On the beach, we have these idols. Alan Sadria has been very quiet in this merch here. He's just had this idol and like no relationships. I don't really know what he's doing, to be honest. But we also have Denzel with his two various uh, advantages here. Uh, no allies though. Sorry, Denzel. We have Kenneth and Rohan with their final two, which is very shaky. We have Rohan and Siobhan with their final two. Lilith and Octavia with their final two. And then we have this four-person alliance. Unbreakable relationships, they are unchanged. We now have Octavia and Jacob with a strong bond. Actually, that has changed. They had an unbreakable relationship, okay. Octavia and Kenneth have a medium bond. Octavia and Denzel have a medium bond. Octavia once again showing her great social game here. Is this a second win for her? Could be. Definitely could be. We have Rohan and Lilith with a medium bond. Siobhan and Lilith with a medium bond. Rohan and Kenneth with a medium bond. And Octavia and Alan with a medium dislike. Oh, okay. And then Kenneth with a small bond toward Denzel. All right. So our first like dislike on the board here. And it is between Octavia and Alan. Who were on the same season. They were both on Copperdale. Interesting. Maybe Alan is seeing exactly what Octavia is doing. He's like, well, she won with his strategy. And she's just replicating this. We should not be letting her get to the end again. But immunity is going to go to Denzel again. He wins two in a row here. Wow. All right. Nice job, Denzel. Maybe he just realizes he has to comp his way to the end. <laughs> I mean, he also has that idol in his pocket if he needs it. And the legacy advantage. So I wouldn't count him out just yet. On the beach, we have Jacob impressing the rest of the team. And Alan and Siobhan have a major fight. Oh, no. I think Alan is probably going to get the boot here. But he has the idol. So if he knows to play it, maybe he gets Octavia out. That would be so exciting. <laughs> Let's get a try bowl. All right, we got the final eight here. Denzel, he has the necklace. Cannot be voted for tonight. It's time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Alan, he does stand up and use the idol on himself. Any votes cast against Alan will not count. Smart move, Alan. I think he definitely needed it here. I will read the votes. The first one is going to go to Alan does not count. Alan does not count. Alan does not count. Alan does not count. Octavia. One vote. Octavia. Oh my god. So this is probably the Alliance, the votes from them. Is Octavia going to get dethroned here? Oh my god. <laughs> Next one is going to go to Octavia. Wow. Two votes Octavia, two votes left. And the next one goes to Siobhan. Two votes Octavia, one vote Siobhan, one vote left. Do they tie? What if they tie? Oh my god. The last vote, it goes to... The 12th person voted out of Sims for Survivor All-Stars 2 and 6th member of the jury. It is Octavia Moon. Octavia, the tribe has spoken. She gets voted out for the first time in her Sims 4 Survivor career. Is the second winner eliminated here? That's too bad. She should not have underestimated Alan Saja. Her own cast member takes her out here. So the Alan votes are Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, and Octavia. The four-person alliance... And then Octavia votes are Alan, Rohan, and Siobhan. Okay, so Rohan and Siobhan, they link up with Alan here. And then Dancel, for some reason, is the sole Siobhan vote. Okay. Incredible way for Octavia to go out here. Wouldn't have it any other way. I think she kind of had the game on lock. If this had not happened, she probably would have won again. So it's kind of exciting to see her go, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I was not like rooting against her, but... I just like the shakeup. <laughs> Let's go to part two of episode 13. We've got the final seven here. We now only have Denzel with um, crap. And there is no new idol hidden. Okay. Our alliances are now Kenneth and Rohan with their final two. It's going up. Maybe Kenneth is like, all right, this four person alliance I was in is kind of falling apart. So maybe I'm going to have to uh, suck back up to Rohan. Rohan and Siobhan, they have their final two. And uh, then we have this four-person alliance now down to three. Jacob, Kenneth, and Lilith. And it has gotten very shaky. Siobhan and Rohan are now the only unbreakable relationship on the board. Is this the power couple that is going to take over now? This has been a very wishy-washy season. It's like people have gotten power and then fallen from grace left and right. It's been wild. 
Rohan and Lilith, they have a strong bond. Siobhan has a strong bond toward Lilith. Lilith only with a medium bond towards Siobhan, however. Then we have Rohan and Kenneth with a medium bond. We have Jacob with a medium bond toward Denzel and vice versa. Kenneth and Denzel with a small bond. Denzel and Alan with a small bond. And Siobhan and Alan with a medium dislike now. I believe they were fighting in the last episode, so that makes sense. But Jacob, he wins immunity. Congratulations, Jacob. Not sure he needed it here, but you know what? He just lost an alliance member. I think it's always good to have a little bit of security. On the beach, we have Alan and Lilith with a major fight. Oh no. Lilith is pissed. She is pissed off that Alan took out her number one in the game. We also have Lilith and Rohan finding something in common. And then something is happening here with this alliance. Oh no, it's a new alliance. We have Dancel and Jacob. Dancel once again showing his adaptability in Sims 4 Survivor. When he gets knocked down, he just gets back up again. Nothing's ever gonna bring him down. <laughs> but he always finds another way, finds another opening for himself to crawl into. Forms an alliance with Jacob here. Let's go to Tribal. All right, we got the final seven here. Alan, Danzel, Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, Rohan, and Siobhan. Jacob, he has the necklace, cannot be voted for tonight. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Danzel, he's gonna stand up. He's gonna use the hidden immunity idol on himself. Any votes cast against Danzel will not count. I think that was a good call. I think he probably might have needed it. I mean, he did just win two immunity wins or immunity challenges in a row, so yeah. <laughs> I'll read the votes. First one is gonna go to Denzel. Does not count. Denzel does not count. Denzel does not count. Denzel does not count. Yeah, he would have been voted out. <laughs> Whoa. Idol play after idol play, I guess. The next one is gonna go to Siobhan. Whoa, okay. One vote Siobhan, two votes left. And the next one goes to Alan. One vote Alan, one vote Siobhan, one vote left. It all comes down to the final vote. And the 13th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2 and the 7th member of the jury, it is going to be Siobhan. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Siobhan, the tribe has spoken. She was so secure for so long and then suddenly idled out of the game. Wow. Denzel and Jacob, they vote her out. Lilith is the random Alan vote. Okay. <laughs> But Alan, Kenneth, Rohan, and Siobhan, they vote for Denzel. Maybe they should have split votes here, although it would have just tied and they would have had to draw rock, so maybe not. <laughs> Huge move by Denzel here. Rohan is now on a boat on his own, kinda. Although he does have that relationship with Kenneth, so maybe not. Alright, we'll go into the finale. We have here the final six. We have Alan Saja, who has been pretty quiet. Hasn't really done too much, has been very under the radar, and I think intentionally so. Like, I think that has been his strategy going into this game. He's just kind of let people forget he's been around. He's had that idol play, but otherwise has mostly just kept out of the drama. I'm not really sure he has enough of a case to win here, but perhaps if he makes it to the end and does interesting things here in the finale, he can convince the jury that he is someone worth winning here. We have my winner pick, Dancel Rivera. I still think he's going to win. I still kind of hope he's going to win. I think he's played a pretty good game. Whenever something goes bad for him, he just shrugs it off and finds some way to flip it around and make something good out of it. I would love to see him win, but he has some stiff competition. We have Jacob Wolkov, who has been pretty much just as messy as he was on his winning game. However, still somehow gotten away with it. I don't really know what he's doing to get away with it. But he just has that magic, I guess. I mean, he's not a winner for nothing. <laughs> really not sure if he has played a winning game here on Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2, but if he makes it to the end, he could just win by default. Like, if you're a winner that makes it to the end, usually you have a bit of uh, an advantage for a jury. We have Kenneth Houston here, um, once again, doing a very good job playing the game. Has played a very strong social game, pretty much just replicated their game on Chestnut Ridge. It hasn't been as strong, I think, as it was on Chestnut Ridge. Like, there was no way Kenneth was not going to win if they had not gotten medically evacuated. But again, if, if they make it to the end, I think they could definitely take the crown here. Then we have Lilith Vitor. How far she has gotten, to be honest. Like, 
she went from second boot on Chestnut Ridge to second placer on uh, early outs and now in the final six in the finale on all stars two among all of these great players honestly very impressed with lilith here and her run on sims for survivor she has had very good relationships same as she did on early outs i do think she is a little bit on the back foot here going into the finale she just lost octavia she now has this Three-person alliance, which is very shaky. Jacob does not seem to be working with them anymore. He's kind of dipped in favor of Denzel. I don't know. We'll see what she does. And then finally, we have Rohan Elderberry, who also is coming into this finale a little bit on the back foot. Just lost his number one ally in Siobhan. She got idled out of the game, but he does have a connection with Kenneth. He is well-liked by these people. Still has that winner target entering the finale, so... We'll see if he gets sniped out of the game or not. I definitely could see that happening for him where they're just like, all right, it's time. It's time he goes. All right, let's go to the beach. We have an idol hidden and uh, we also have the legacy advantage, which Denzel has, and it's going to be used this round. So uh, Denzel is safe no matter what happens here. We have Kenneth and Rohan with their final two. We have Jacob, Kenneth and Lilith with their shaky three person lines. I think this is done, to be honest. And then we have the newly formed Denzel and Jacob final two alliance here. Rohan and Lilith now with an unbreakable relationship. What? When did this happen? Not even aligned. And they have not been aligned this entire time. But okay, Rohan showing his social game again because he also has a strong relationship with Kenneth. They, of course, have their final two. Jacob and Denzel have a strong bond as well in their final two alliance. And then Kenneth and Denzel have a medium bond. We have Lilith and Alan with a medium dislike. We have Denzel and Alan with a medium bond, Jacob and Alan with a medium bond, and then Rohan and Jacob with a small bond, Lilith and Denzel with a slight bond, Lilith and Kenneth with a slight bond. I think Alan is probably going to be the next one to go. He just does not have the same relationships that the other people do. And there's no one that's really like pulling for him, I think. So he kind of has to uh, hope that the other people go into war. For him to just slip past, I guess. But immunity is going to go to Jacob. He wins his second immunity. Congratulations. And he is going to take Denzel and Lilith with him on reward. His number two and his uh, Chestnut Rich former cast member. Or former Chestnut Rich cast member, I should say. All right, let's go to the beach. Let's see what's going on. We got Denzel with the advantage, which he has to play. We have Kenneth and Lilith bonding slightly. We have Alan and Lilith with a small fight. Okay. And then Lilith with a major meltdown. Okay. <laughs> but we have a new alliance. It is Lilith and Rohan. They form a final two alliance. Lilith is more loyal to this than Rohan is. Very Lilith heavy episode here. <laughs> she has her hand in every jar, of course. You know, it is what Lilith does. Let's go to tribal. All right, we got the final six here. Alan, Denzel, Jacob, Kenneth, Lilith, and Rohan. Jacob, he has the necklace, cannot be voted for tonight. It is time to vote. And if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Denzel, he stands up. He is going to use the legacy advantage, of course. Any votes cast against Denzel will not count. I read the votes. First vote is going to go to Denzel. Does not count. Denzel does not count. Denzel does not count. I assume that, again, this is probably the alliance, I guess. Although Jacob is definitely not voting for him, right? So I'm guessing this is Kenneth, Lilith, and Rohan. Those are the people voting for him. <laughs> anyway, uh, next one goes to Rohan. One vote Rohan. Two votes left. And the next one goes to Alan. One vote Alan. One vote Rohan. One vote left. And the 14th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor. All-Stars 2. Eighth member of the jury it is going to be. Rohan. Rohan, the tribe has spoken. Same as his number one ally, idled out of the game by Tensil Rivera. <laughs> that is hilarious, to be honest. <laughs> so, wow, yeah. I mean, like, previous winner, he had a target on his bag. It's pretty impressive that he made it all the way to the final six. So the Denzel votes are Alan, Lilith, and Rohan. Oh, Kenneth is not a Denzel vote. So they voted for Alan. Okay. But of course, Denzel and Jacob, the power couple here in the finale, they take out Rohan pretty much single-handedly. Well done. We'll move on to part two of the finale. We've got the final five here. 
And look at this, Lilith, she finds the hidden immunity idol. Wow. So Denzel, he could definitely uh, be in trouble now if he does not win immunity. All right. So we got this alliance here. Jacob is down to a four in the three-person alliance. We've got Denzel and Jacob with their final two. We have Kenneth and Denzel with an unbreakable relationship now. Okay. Not sure where this is coming from, but I think this alliance is done. I think Lilith is in trouble, actually. We now have Jacob and Denzel with a strong bond. Jacob now with a strong bond toward Ellen. Okay. Maybe Jacob ramping things up here in the end game, trying to pull in as many people as he can to make it to that final three chair. Alan only with a medium bond toward Jacob, though. And then we have Lilith and Alan with a strong dislike now. Dancel and Alan with a medium bond. Jacob does not like Lilith. Oh, okay. And then Lilith and Dancel with a slight bond. Lilith and Kenneth with a slight bond. And Lilith with a slight bond toward Jacob. So Jacob, he is ready to cut Lilith's throat here. Of course, however, she does have the idol, so she is safe, no matter what. But let's see who wins immunity. Denzel! Wow, incredible. He wins immunity again, is going to be immune once again. So that is going to be five rounds here that he's not going to get booted out, right? Three immunity wins and two idol plays. Wow, very impressive game by Denzel here. I hope he wins. I hope he wins. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. We have Lilith with the idol. She has to use it. And Jacob, he is out of the three-person alliance. That is the least surprising thing here. Okay, before we go to tribal, I'm going to predict what's going to happen. Lilith, she is going to play the idol. She is going to get three votes against her. Jacob, Denzel, and Alan. They're going to vote for her. And then Kenneth and Lilith, I kind of wonder what they're going to do. Are they going to snipe out Jacob? I think they could. I think that might happen. But they could also take out Alan. I mean, Lilith hates Alan, so that could also happen. Let's go to tribal. Let's find out. All right, we got the merch tribe here, the celebrities tribe. Dancel, he has the necklace, cannot be voted for tonight. It is time to vote. And if anyone has the hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. Lilith, she stands up. She's going to use the idol. Any votes cast against Lilith will not count. I'll read the votes. First vote is going to go to Lilith. Does not count. Lilith. Does not count. Lilith. Does not count. See, my prediction, it is coming true. <laughs> the next vote is going to go to... Alan. One vote, Alan. One vote left. And the 15th person voter out of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2. Ninth member of the jury, it is Alan Saja. Alan, the tribe has spoken. I don't think the under-the-radar strategy really worked for him. I mean, it did, to a certain extent. Like, he made it to the final five. But I think he needed some relationships to keep himself in the game. And I don't think beefing with Lilith Vitor was the way to go. <laughs> so it is exactly as I predicted. Alan, Denzel, and Jacob, they vote for Lilith. Kenneth and Lilith, they pull their votes on Alan. And he gets idled out of the game. All right, well, we'll move on to finale part three. We got the final four here. Denzel, Jacob, Kenneth, and Lilith. We got three people from Chestnut Ridge. <laughs> How did they let this happen? I don't know, but let's go to the beach. We have no idol, of course, because we're at the final five or final five, final four. We have Kenneth and Lilith with a shaky alliance. We have Denzel and Jacob with a pretty strong alliance. Kenneth and Denzel with an unbreakable relationship that kind of came out of nowhere, but it has very much solidified here at the finale. We have Jacob and Denzel with a strong bond. Lilith and Jacob with a medium dislike now. Okay. Lilith and Dancel with a slight bond, Lilith and Kenneth with a slight bond, and then Kenneth and Jacob with a slight bond as well. I think Lilith is going to get the boot if she does not win immunity, so let's see if she does. The final immunity of the season is going to go to Kenneth. Wow. Okay, that's kind of random. Congratulations, Kenneth. This is their third immunity win. Wow. Okay. Impressive, Kenneth. They're not going to go home tonight, so let's go to the beach. All right, we got Jacob and Lilith finding something in common. And uh, Kenneth and Lilith, their alliance is done. The Chestnut Ridge alliance plus Octavia Moon, <laughs> it is over. But we see Denzel and Kenneth, they solidify their final two deal here. Now the question is, do Jacob and Lilith go against them? Do they try to take out Denzel? I highly doubt it, considering that Jacob and Denzel are in an alliance. But if you remember, Jacob did cut his ally in Chestnut Ridge. And that cost him to win the game. So, I don't know. You never know what Jacob's gonna do. Let's go to Tribal. Alright, we're at Tribal here. 
with the final four. Kenneth, they have the necklace, cannot be voted for tonight. Everybody else is eligible. It is time to vote. First vote is going to go to Jacob. What about Jacob? Second vote goes to Leleth. What about Jacob? What about Leleth? I guess they did not team up. <laughs> Third vote is going to go to Leleth. And the 16th person, what are out of sense for Survivor All-Stars 2 and 10th member of the jury? It is Lilith Vator. Lilith, the tribe has spoken. Uh, yeah, that, that was the predictable outcome, to be honest. I mean, she kind of fumbled the ball at the end here. She kind of lost all her allies. And you know what? She still played a good game, so you can't knock it too much. Everybody votes for Lilith. She votes for Jacob. Props to you, Lilith. You played a strong game, but it wasn't good enough. We'll go to the final tribal council. We got the final three here. Denzel Rivera, Jacob Volkov, and Kenneth Houston. Three very strong players that have played very strong games. Denzel is my personal winner pick. I think he should probably take it. I mean, he has played an incredible game here. Has just dodged bullets left and right. Jacob, though, of course, a previous winner. He could take the win by default for just making it to the end as a previous winner. And then Kenneth has kind of just replicated their game from Chestnut Ridge that they would have assuredly won with. Has not rubbed anybody the wrong way. Has been aligned with multiple people. Has been very friendly towards everybody. I definitely think they could win. I mean, the jury would probably love to see it. <laughs> but we have the jury here, a 10-person jury. They all ask their questions. They cast their votes for a winner. And it's time to reveal who wins Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2. The first vote, it goes to Kenneth. One vote, Kenneth. Second vote goes to Jacob. One vote, Jacob. The third vote, it goes to Dan Sal. So we're tied. One vote Kenneth, one vote Jacob, one vote Dansel. Fourth vote is going to go to Kenneth. Two votes Kenneth, one vote Dansel, one vote Jacob. Fifth vote goes to Jacob. So that's two votes Kenneth, two votes Jacob, one vote Dansel. Sixth vote is going to go to Dansel. We're tied again. Two votes Dansel, two votes Jacob, two votes Kenneth. Four votes left. And the next vote goes to Dansel. So that's three votes Stansel, two votes Jacob, two votes Kenneth, three votes left. Next vote goes to Kenneth. We got three votes Stansel, three votes Kenneth. We're tied. Jacob with two. The next vote is going to go to Stansel, four votes Stansel, three votes Kenneth, two votes Jacob, one vote remaining. If it goes to Kenneth, we tie and Jacob is going to cast the tie-breaking vote. If it goes to Dansal, he wins. If it goes to Jacob, Dansal also wins. And the last vote, it goes to... The winner of Sims 4 Survivor All-Stars 2, it is Dansal Rivera. Congratulations, Dansal. Played an absolutely spectacular game here. For once, my winner pick wins. <laughs> I'm so happy with him. <laughs> I'm proud of him, even though he has, uh, you know, a simulated Sims character in a Survivor Simulation. <laughs> All right, let's see the vote breakdown. We have Alan, Ava, Cletus, Lilith, and Sienna. They all vote for Dancel. Ava and Sienna, of course, had their three-person alliance with Dancel. Lilith does not vote for Kenneth or Jacob, who uh, she was aligned with. Interesting. Alan also, I think he also had a good relationship with Denzel, so that makes sense. And Cletus also was in the final two with Denzel. So all of these votes, check out. Kenneth votes are Minsung, Rohan, and Siobhan. Rohan and Siobhan, they are in agreement here. Rohan was, of course, in the final two with Kenneth. So maybe he convinced Siobhan to also vote for Kenneth. And I don't know what Minsung is doing here voting for Kenneth. But I guess, I don't know. I kind of forget if Minsung was uh, aligned with Kenneth or not. And then Dina and Octavia are the Jacob votes. Okay. <laughs> Octavia did have an unbreakable relationship with Jacob at, at like one point or another. So that makes sense, I guess. But let's find out who the fan favorite is. It is Sienna Grove. All right. Congratulations, Sienna. But there you have it. There's our season. Our elimination order here. We have in 20th place, Victor Fang. In 19th, Eric Lewis. In 18th, Jenna Akiyama. In 17th, Candy Bear. In 16th, Bone Hilda. 
In 15th, May Prescott. In 14th, Marcel Price. In 13th, Dina Caliente. In 12th, Min Sung Lee. In 11th, Kalidas Harris. In 10th, Sienna Grove. In 9th, Ava Harjo, our medevac. In 8th, Octavia Moon. In 7th, Siobhan Fyrus. In 6th, Rohan Elderberry. In 5th, Alan Saja. In 4th, Lilith Bator. Our second runner-up, Jacob Wolkov. Our runner-up, Kenneth Houston. And our winner, Denzel Rivera. So we have Denzel and Kenneth both with three immunity wins each. All right. Jacob has two. And then Ava and Sienna have one each. Most votes received is Alan Saja with 15. Sienna has 13. Octavia has 10. Dina and Eric both have 9. We have Ava with 8. Denzel with 7. Bonhilda, Jacob, Lilith, Siobhan, and Victor with 6. Then Candy, May, Minsung, and Rohan with 5. Kenneth and Marcel with 4. And then Cletus and Jenna with 2 each. What happened to Jenna? Did she get... Idled out? Like what? Yeah, she did get idled out. Oh, okay. I kind of forgot about that. It was so long ago. <laughs> well, all right. Most strategic is Dancer Rivera. That makes sense. And then Jacob Bullcup and then Kenneth Houston. I guess that's fair. I feel like I would probably put Kenneth over Jacob, but can't knock it. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with this. I feel like this makes sense. But there you have it. That's our season. And that's the end of Era 2 of Sims 4 Survivor. All hail our current reigning, Dancer Rivera. And I don't really know what we're going to do next. I'm kind of run out of pre-made sims to throw into these seasons. And I don't want to just do a bunch of like returnee seasons over and over. I don't know. Maybe I can scrounge up for another newbie season. Maybe we'll just wait a second. I don't know. Let me know what you want me to do. I did put up a poll on my community tab that we could do like a second chance season. And the result was that most people do want to see that. It had like a 90% um, for yes. So we could maybe do that. I don't know. We'll see what we do. Anyway, for now, I think Sims 4 Survivor is going to go on a little bit of a break. We'll let the series breathe a little bit. I will see you whenever I see you in the next one. Bye.